I remember very strongly when I visited Earlham that everyone was just so friendly. And all of the students in the classes that I sat in on were so engaged and they had all, they brought their reading and they were ready to discuss and they were ready to learn and engage with the professor. My name is Clara Stulagros. I am a senior environmental studies major. I've, um, I've, I've done this, this internship at the EPA. I had a fellowship um, to do scientific research. The, the National Science Foundation has a series of fellowships that they offer to undergraduate students. I had the chance to work with native bumblebees and looking at some of the reasons why their populations are declining. There has been a disproportionate loss in bumblebee species that are active foraging late into the summer season and I was looking at a couple of reasons why that may be the case. Um, there's One of the reasons is that there are fewer flowers at the end of the summer. With drought conditions, there's not as much water, of course, and um, the bees have to spend more time flying to bring back the same amount of pollen. Um, and bumblebees essentially are spending their entire summer trying to get more and more resources, pollen and nectar, to make their colony really large because only the biggest colonies are able to actually reproduce at the end of the season. I've been able to balance my time between things like teaching rock climbing classes at the rock wall to any student who's interested in learning how to, how to climb or leading August Wilderness in Utah um, to working in a government office and writing, um, writing letters to representatives to, to get my voice heard to learning how the natural world works and learning about pollination and bees and, and how we get our food um, I think all of these things have come together. Earlham has given me so many opportunities that I don't think I could find anywhere else.